Women usually ask the question if marine collagen is better and more effective than the collagen sources of chicken, bovine, or porcine. And I truly believe it's super important to address the differences so you can make a more educated and healthier decision for yourself. So let's go right away to address the question, what truly the marine collagen is made of, okay? Then we will go, what are the benefits of marine collagen? Are there better or worse than the other ones? Is it safe to consume marine collagen? And what you should be paying attention, attention when it comes to toxins and contamination? and who should and shouldn't be consuming marine collagen. So let's address the question number one. What is marine collagen truly made of? I truly believe there is still misunderstanding about that, so let's get to the bottom of it. Marine collagen is made of fish scales and bones, crustacean, and other creatures of the sea world. Then those pieces are boiled into your um, gelatin, excuse me, and then that is being converted into collagen peptides, the smaller pieces of protein, easier and better digested by you. But please don't get confused and mesmerized by marketing agencies or other companies, um, which would say to you that marine collagen has a smaller protein molecules than bovine chicken or porcine uh, collagen peptides, because that's not true. The difference is, that collagen peptides, hydrolyzed collagen peptides from any of those sources should be better and easier absorbed by you than the one from gelatin. That is the massive difference, okay? So let's go to question number two. What are actually the benefits of taking marine collagen? So it's very important to address that marine collagen is mostly made of type 1 collagen, which is the most abundant collagen in your body, around 90%. Now, it is present in your skin, also in your bones and your tendons. However, ladies, it's very limiting to think that you only need type 1 collagen and marine collagen to support the beauty, elasticity, and hydration of your skin because your skin is also made of type 3 collagen that is also needed not just for skin but muscles as well. So, to even support that fact that marine collagen may not be your best choice just for skin hydration, I will bring up a recent study that was done in Japan and was comparing the porcine collagen source versus marine collagen source. Here's what the study showed, that the hydration of the skin did improve in both situations. However, the porcine collagen has improved 28% of the skin hydration versus the marine collagen only 12. That's a difference. So you have to ask yourself a question. Is the company that I'm buying the collagen from, trying to sell me and convey the message that this is better than chicken, bovine and porcine, and maybe they are doing it from environmental you know, purposes and we will get into that next. Or maybe they're trying to say that you know, fish is healthier than a bovine uh, or pork source or chicken source, which is not really always the case. And here's what I'm going to say about that. With mercury pollutants and other toxins present in our waters, it shouldn't be a surprise to you that I was really hesitant to use marine collagen in our product. And even though you may say, you know what, Barbara, the collagen is made of purified protein, so the possibility of mercury contamination is probably very low, I would say, yes, you might be right, that is very true because the mercury usually is in the fat of a fish, right? But I still had the problem because there was no supplier of marine collagen who could answer to me directly, precisely and honestly, what fish and what may be pieces of other seafood or sea creatures they made their marine collagen from. And that was truly a problem for me. And I couldn't really overlook that possibility and put any of my customers at risk. Now, there's another toxin that I have massive problem with and nobody is testing for it. No supplier of marine collagen. And here is which toxin I want you to pay attention to and do a little bit more research on. And you can go directly to Dr. Paul Cox. 
actually website where you will learn more about BMAA. And the reason I'm mentioning BMAA is because it's being found in the water, in algae especially. It was also found in some shrimp. Now, no company is testing for that toxin when they make any collagen supplement. And I have a problem with that. Because if it was found in some spirulina, not all of spirulina, but in some spirulina, if it was found in shrimp, it could be also found in a collagen made of a fish. And I truly believe companies should be paying attention to that and should test for it because that toxin causes neurodegenerative disease. So I hope you understand my hesitation and I'm absolutely not, please understand me clearly. I am not saying that the collagen, marine collagen that you might be consuming has BMMA. No, I'm just telling you what was my concern, what was the reason I decided not to use it. I hope it was valuable to you. And I'm, again, I would never speak badly about any particular product. Absolutely not. But if I am being asked to make comparison and not even about product to product, like resync towards, you know, any marine particular product, I'm not going to do that and say that that product may have BMMA. No, no, no. We are speaking about the marine collagen difference, bovine, chicken, and porcine, because for some reason there is the conception that marine is healthier, better, and maybe it's more expensive, but it's clearly not better or at least there is no science indicating that as of today okay next question that i truly believe is important to address is if marine collagen is sustainable and the answer is yes it plays a huge uh, part in the sustainability movement but let's not forget collagen is made from leftovers of an animal or a fish that we normally do not consume so regardless if you support yourself with marine collagen bovine chicken or porcine source you are supporting the sustainability movement there are some companies that are trying to convince the consumer that marine exactly does a better job than the other i look at the entire ecosystem and from a consumer and then a buyer point of view you can absolutely make a better decision and maybe consume the grass-fed um, cows that produce the collagen or wild-caught fish but again even though you take those two into consideration there are the additional aspects that i addressed and i told you to pay attention to when you are thinking about which collagen source is better right so now let's address the last question who is really marine collagen for who should be taking it who shouldn't be taking it always the pros first right who should be taking it anyone who is in the need of collagen type 1 again in the beginning in the second question i said that type 1 is present in your skin in your uh, tendons and also it's present in your bone so Regardless of your age, if you are in need for any of those three supports, which I truly believe everyone should be, everyone needs a skin elasticity and hydration, everyone needs tendon health and a bone health, right? But remember, type 2 collagen, speaking of a bone, is actually the cartilage in the bone, so don't confuse that, okay? That's just a side note. But like we also mentioned, um, type 1 is one of many collagens that your body needs to have a healthy entire connective tissue and musculoskeletal system right especially two and three as well however one is the most abundant so that's who really needs a type 1 collagen regardless if it's marine bovine or porcine source you may ask who shouldn't be taking marine collagen and the answer is people who are allergic to shellfish but even if that's you then remember you have other options bovine and porcine 
sources will also provide you with a type 1 collagen. So I hope this was helpful. All the information we covered will definitely help you to make a better, healthier, and the right decision for yourself. So remember, Resync is here to help you live healthier life. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and let us know if there are any particular subjects that you would like us to cover. Anything around energy recovery, collagen, nitric oxide, we will be happy to address because that's what Resync stands for. So have a day full of joy and energy. We look forward to hearing from you.